My name is Robert. I'm the father of a 33-year-old young woman, Eleanor. She has what's known as profound and multiple learning disabilities, which means she wouldn't have the mental capacity to take part in a discussion or an interview like this. So I'm here to represent her, her views and her experience, and my experience when I'm out with Eleanor travelling. And can you tell us a little bit about the nature of Eleanor's impairments? I know you said she had profound and multiple illnesses, but are there any physical sides to, to her impairments as well? Or? Yes, although she can walk and in a very obviously unsteady way, she uses a wheelchair as well. She has unpredictable and severe epilepsy, uh, unpredictable meaning we must expect her to collapse to the ground at any moment. Um, she's also visually impaired and hearing impaired. And putting that lot together doesn't mean to say that she doesn't enjoy being out and about on trains and buses and boats. Uh, she's been in a helicopter once as well and driven a speedboat. So she's very active. She's very joyful about the life she leads and she's unaware of any impediment that stops her going to certain places or uh, having to deal with blocks in the road or uneven pavements. Okay. And so um, can you now tell me uh, how Eleanor and the people who support Eleanor um, are affected by the inaccessibility of Kentish Town Tube Station. Right, yes I can. Um, Eleanor's been used to not having a lift uh, and easy accessibility to her nearest station which is Kentish Town West Overground. So she already has to walk or take the wheelchair to two other stations, Camden Road and Gospel Oak. And she wouldn't be aware that she's walking further than she needs to because Kentish Town doesn't have a lift. I was really delighted when I heard this sounds wrong, but I was really delighted that Kentish Town was going to be shut for a year um, because I thought, right, now they're going to put a lift in because it's, it's so obvious that you don't even have to think about it. And frankly, I was rather annoyed when I found out that they weren't. It seems the decision to deny accessibility. Um, my daughter, Eleanor, wouldn't be aware of all this but her support workers and she needs two support workers whenever she's out as well as her parents when we go out with her so the fact that uh, tfl are not taking the opportunity to create equal access to a very major station is is ridiculous it really is it will may mean that eleanor cannot visit her own parents using public transport uh, through Thameslink and I know that's part of the same station but not part of the same service but the principles are saying there is no accessibility she can't walk down the steps she cannot go down an escalator in case she has a seizure so if there's no lift put in now that would strike me as being a permanent rejection of accessibility for people who live in the Kentish Town area or need to change lines at Kentish Town for the Northern Line. Um, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for TfL to show that they can treat accessibility as the norm and not a special favour. Thank you and um, so can you just say uh, I know that there hasn't been a lift at Kentish Town ever, uh, Kentish Town Tube but can you just give us an indication of what life would be like if there was one, you know, day to day, how, how, how would it, it would change how um, Eleanor can get around? Well, it would open up the opportunities for Eleanor to travel by tube. I know not every station is step free, but at least it's another station in her local neighbourhood that will give her the freedom to to move further afield if you like. It so happens that Kentish Town Road is her favourite road. She always goes into the post office because that's where she buys her balloons. She goes to the cafes there. She has a very good sense of direction. 
she knows there is a station there because she keeps signing train, train. And we have to say it's shut. What we really mean, it's shut to you, Eleanor. Um, so it, it really is a denial of um, her full life, if you like. And is it quite close to where you live, so it make it easier? You have the, Thames, the Thameslink side is. It's the same problem. I know it's a different organisation in terms of Thameslink Rail and TfL2, but we're one stop on Thameslink. She would never be able to go down because even if she could, she can walk downstairs and upstairs, but that means somebody's got to manhandle her wheelchair. Uh, I can do it because I've got the strength, but I wouldn't because it's too dangerous. So the, the whole idea of um, accessibility isn't a concession to people with disabilities like Eleanor. It should be the norm. And shutting the station for a year means they, they've got the facilities and the time to do the work.